So SAP uh, is a German software company out of uh, Waldorf, and um, the term we use in the industry is uh, when they first came out with their R3 flagship product, uh, uh, actually for many years people couldn't really describe it until someone coined the term ERP, Enterprise, Enterprise Resource Planning, uh, and it's become much more than that. So pretty much uh, I think any business process uh, uh, across the board that you can think of, uh, some, there's some level of coverage that SAP has around it, and more recently has become uh, analytics and uh, database slash, uh, uh, I guess you would call it a, a new a uh, platform for development, uh, 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 a product known as HANA, which is really disrupting, uh, I think, how we think, maybe not the technology and the implementations, because there's a way to get into this, uh, this new innovative technology, but just how we think about building uh, uh, tech, well, applications for, for uh, uh, the various business processes that you have out there for the various business functions that uh, uh, may be uh, uh, you know, traditionally uh, accounting or finance, uh, uh, into logistics, into supply chain, into uh, customer relationship management, whether that's marketing and sales. And so it really spans the whole enterprise. And so, uh, so that actually question is what is SAP is actually a, a pretty tough one to cover because it is so expansive and it is so, uh, you know, such a big thing and it covers so many large companies that have it. But it's, it's starting to become uh, you know, somewhat ubiquitous within uh, uh, large organizations. And now, uh, uh, of course, it's, it's penetrating into uh, small and uh, mid-sized enterprises as well. So it's, it's, it's really everywhere and, and running businesses and moving into even consumer applications. So uh, it is uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, a vendor with uh, uh, all kinds of applications and a portfolio to cover all kinds of really scenarios that uh, primarily are business related. Um, but uh, uh, yeah, certainly uh, a long answer to a, a, a short question. But uh, but anyway, that's that's that, that's SAP uh, from uh, Dave Dixon's perspective. Controlling has a very, uh, I, I, from my perspective, a very management centric uh, uh, and, and, a, and, a, and a finance and accounting centric uh, you know, connotation to it in terms of how do you govern and control uh, spend or investments uh, in, in, in the enterprise. And, 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 in, a, and in a sense, it's, it really is the central governance tool. You know, if, if finance is the lingua franc franca of business, uh, then controlling is all about uh, managing uh, the enterprise in a, in a fiscally responsible way. And so, in, in my mind, this uh, uh, conference is, is, is differentiated in the sense that they're really focused on, uh, you know, there's a module within SAP called CO or controlling, so it definitely has a tie-in and relationship to that, and it spans all the technologies and implications of controlling, whether that's your back into the enterprise resource planning system that we just uh, discussed, uh, uh, or into analytic applications like uh, BW or, or business planning and consolidations, which is SAP's product, to do exactly what the name says. Um, and that, I think, focus from a controller's perspective um, or a manager's perspective is really what makes this, 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 this conference unique. So uh, SAP is as old as I am. Uh, so I'll give away my age. I was born in 1972. And that's really when SAP was founded. So it's been around a very long time, uh, from the early days of mainframe. Um, and actually, that was their uh, uh, one of their early uh, flagship products was R2 or Release 2, or actually R standing for real time, real time version two. And then with the whole client servant movement in the 80s and 90s, uh, they came out with R3, Real Time Enterprise 3, and that was the shift from mainframe into client server technology. And during that time, there was a big trend towards you know, using relational database technology to, do, you know, uh, uh, to cover enterprise processes. So what we had was a proliferation of tables all over the place because we were pushing relational database modeling to its limit. And that was great for transactional systems like SAP uh, around enterprise resource planning. So you know, anywhere from like order to, to cash or uh, procure to pay, these end-to-end -end processes are going across a lot of different tables that ca captured logistics and accounting information across those, and it spread out. And the latest trend, and, and, and so what happened was, as your, tr your transactions were optimized by pushing relational database modeling to its limit and creating all these separate tables, analytics became slow. And I experienced this when I was at SAP back in the, uh, in the 90s is increasingly it was hard to get fast reports out of ERP because 
so many people were hitting the systems transactionally and we had uh, information systems embedded in ERP uh, like logistics information system or COPA or profitability. Uh, we even had this notion of executive information system where we're trying to pull it all together which became the precursor for SAP Business Information Warehouse or SAP BW that then we split out out of ERP and that became the latest, latest trend is to move your analytics into an entirely separate environment and create a whole new class of applications that was analytically focused separate from transaction but what happened at that point in time you disconnected to the two systems you had timing differences you had to extract transform and load all that information well SAP has now innovated with a new uh, uh, platform you know, starting off as a database uh, that they're calling HANA. And now the trend is push that all back and go full circle, not only back into ERP, but push, we don't need all these tables all over the place. Uh, relational database technology uh, and, and how we model has totally changed. And those concepts are now old and it's all about pushing it back into one basically logical table uh, and it's, it's very funny because that's a mainframe concept of having a coding block in one mainframe, one central instance, where you can get all your information and do all your transactions. And that simplicity, you know, it made everything very simple to go back to one table where relational database modeling was very complex. And this is the biggest, most exciting trend going on. And this is what we learned about at the conference and all kinds of, you know, conversations and, and dialogue around this notion of simple finance. Uh, it goes by another uh, various names, but, uh, 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 you know, whether you want to call it, uh, uh, you know, smart finance or simple finance or a financial add-on, it's really the power of HANA and the impact it's having on uh, the finance function, but not only the finance function, you know, all, all of uh, enterprise resource processes. The, the one of the, I think really at the end of the day, what I think is the most powerful part of these conferences, not only the information and all the late breaking uh, 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 updates around what SAP is doing and what other customers are doing, uh, it is also the, the people side of this business. And I, my personal philosophy is that the technology gains is, is really coming fast and more and more with all these new innovations and all the new possibilities with technology, the people side of this is what's becoming uh, a greater challenge than even the, 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 the technology side. Uh, now what to do with all this technology is really more of a people question. And the great thing about a conference like this, it, 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 it is intimate, it, you're, you're meeting other people, you're hearing the stories, you're not just learning about the technology and the applications, but how to apply it, how to organize around it, how to deploy it, and, and people's stories and, the, and their organizations, and, and you really get this great composite of uh, really people process technology uh, all together just by verbal conversations, whether you're sitting in a classroom, you're at a Q&A, you're at an interactive dialogue, or you're at a whiteboarding session, or you're at a cocktail hour, you're, you're, you're getting all of that um, just throughout you know, uh, uh, the event.